from Los Angeles. It's the Tom Likas Show. Amen. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning into the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No. I am your host. Write down our toll-free telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. We appreciate it. And before I do anything this hour, I want to welcome all of the listeners uh, to El Kukui. Uh As you may know, uh, Kukui apparently um, spent a half hour berating his employer on Friday, and then he walked off. And, of course, those listeners need a place to go. So you may be surprised to find out, even though Kukui speaks Spanish, you may be surprised to find out that his audience has just come right over here. And here they are. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in. They're all here. Ah, uh, nothing I like better than an audience that's easy to please, huh? Yeah. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much. Uh, so uh, Kakui is gone, and uh, so uh, we are here for you. We've not abandoned you, and uh, we're happy to have all of you listening. All of you. And I want to thank, because I was on the air when this happened on Friday, I want to thank all the uh, people who wrote to me to clue me in on this. Because if you wait for the Los Angeles Times or any of the trade papers to get to this, with the number of people who speak Spanish in those places, we'd be waiting a week to hear about it. But uh, there you go. The guy with the number one afternoon show, it's in Spanish. He walked off his show. Done. He's gone. So uh, I know... Uh, a lot of people who punch back and forth between the two shows. You don't have to punch back and forth anymore now. We're here for you, baby. Tell you what. Tell you what. Anyway. Thanks a lot. Appreciate the call. Here's a story from the New York Post. The show could have been called Black Eye for the White Guy, says executive producer Jay Blumenfeld. But instead, it will be called Make Me Cool. The series idea has been bought by cable channel Showtime, but no air date has been set, and the show is still in the casting stage. Here's what Blumenfeld told reporters. He said, right now, there are parts of black culture that everyone wants to aspire to. Parts of black culture that everyone wants to aspire to. What might those be? Oh, well, that might be one. We want to explore that. We want to face racial stereotypes head on and say, what is this? Why is this? The format will be something like the hit Queer Eye for the Straight Guy, a team of three or four African Americans, including at least one woman. You gotta have women in there. You gotta have a woman. Yeah. You can't just have men. You got have a woman. Yeah. You can't be all men. It's got to be about a woman. Yeah. You can't offend women in any way with a show like this. Yeah. They will do a full hypnosis makeover on a desperately uncool guy or girl. Eventually, the show will go beyond making over just singles and take on couples, families, and even a college fraternity. Oh, yeah. Maybe they get Lawrence Phillips to guest star on something like that, huh? <laughs> Remember Lawrence Phillips, the uh, former college football player who dragged his girlfriend around by a ponytail? Yeah, love that. Ah, yes, the producer of the show says this is a lot more than changing the color of your shirt and getting a haircut. This is about immersing people in a new kind of culture. Well, new to them, baby. Nothing new about it. So, um, I know we have a, a very large African-American audience that listens to our show. 
And um, I'm sure you have a lot of opinions about the possibility of the production of a TV show like this. Uh, but I'm wondering, let's say you were on this show, making over uncool white guys and gals to be more cool, like that's possible. I mean, how many M&Ms are there? And, and really, when you get right down to it, on, on one level, M&M is, is comical, wouldn't you say? Comical. Eminem and Insane Clown Posse, they kind of, I don't know, kind of cut from the same mold. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, uh, all right, so uh, I'm talking to our black audience now, all right? Uh, let's say there's a makeover show where you take unhip white people and make them cool. What exactly would you do with them? Tom Liker, 1 800 5800 Tom. Tom Liker. I am afraid of uh, men. You're afraid? Oh, I'm afraid of death. I'm afraid of catching AIDS. I'm afraid of a lot. I, I like the way you list marriage in there with death and catching AIDS. They're absolutely. They're all going to end your life, aren't they? The Tom Like Show. 1 800 5 800 Tom is our telephone number. <laughs> all right. Here you have um, Jay Blumenfield. I bet he's a brother. That's right. Homie? Yeah. He's uh, going to produce a show where they get uh, four black people to teach white people how to be hip. Kind of a makeover show. What do you think about that, Don? Well, I tell you, Tom, this is about as ridiculous as they can get. <laughs> I'm a black man over here in Maryland. I'm a police officer in this state. And I tell you right now, I've seen the the degeneration of our society, thinking everything is cool and not, you know, not speaking correct English anymore. I don't know what's going on with America. By the way, I love your show. Thank you. Um, but I tell you, I don't know what it what it is with these parents out here these days, thinking that, you know, walking around with the pants hanging halfway off the backside and and uh, you know, just looking terrible. It, it, it's terrible. I can't stand. As we need more white guys walking around with their butt cracks hanging out. Exactly. Right. <laughs> who who wants to see that? Bad enough with the brothers doing it. <laughs> Well, well fortunately, we do, fortunately, the show's being produced by a brother named Jay Blumenfield. <laughs> well, I'm sure he eats his chitlins on, on New Year's Eve. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thank you so much, Don. All right, take care, Tom. Take Appreciate me out, old stop. Hey, here you go. <laughs> one 800 800 tom is our telephone number. Fritz on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Dad. Hello, son. How are you? How have you been all my life? Huh? You know what? After I did your mom, I kind of uh, skipped out of town. Oh, man. I've been looking for you. I know. <laughs> Love your show. <laughs> Thank First you. First time caller. Um, I just moved you from Atlanta, and I'm moving back to Atlanta, but the only thing I'm going to miss your show. That's the only thing I'm going to regret. You know? Yeah, I completely understand. We have, uh, haven't been on in Atlanta in a few years now. You, it's against the law. you got to put me on. you got to put got to put that show over there. Would love to be on there, believe me. Wow. But back to this, um, the show, man, I think it's going gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna to flop. You know, it's, it's, you know, you can't turn, you know, people into being cool. You know, say it's a character thing. You know what I'm saying? Well, not just cool, but the, the, the idea that black people are just inherently cooler than white people. Yeah, that's absurd. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's, it's, it's a character thing. It's being a bully. Not being a bully, but it's all... And who are you going to have on there? Gary Coleman and uh, Rerun and uh, what other cool people are you going to have on there? <laughs> Star Jones. Todd Bridges. <laughs> Todd Bridges. <laughs> but Phil, you got to take me out. <laughs> Phil Hartman style. Phil Hartman style. Oh, you are a long-time listener. I love it. 1-800-5800-TOM <laughs> is our telephone number. It's BJ on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, what's up, Pop? Uh, not much, son. Hey, how you doing, man? I, I, I'm a long-time caller. And, Tom, seriously, this is why you're such a, a great disc jockey. You're bringing up stuff that politicians only bring up during election cycles. You're bringing it right now. You're not asking anything from anybody, Tom. You're the greatest. You know what I'm saying? I think most white guys are afraid to talk about this stuff. I really do. I don't, I don't understand why, brother. You know what I'm saying? Because when I, I'm reading and work with a lot of white guys, I mean... We come to work, we party, we go out, we do everything together. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. As far as this show, I already know what it's going to look like. They're going to take the absolute worst black stereotype and put it on there and try to, I mean, it's, it's all just ignorance, Tom. It's horrible. And, and this guy Blumenthal, I mean, 
I don't know who I'm more mad at, the people who exploit these ignorant-ass brothers or the ignorant-ass brothers that allow themselves to be exploited and yeah. make us all look bad. Yeah, and let's, and, let's, and let's face it, how many black men and women are like the quote-unquote hip, cool guys that you see like on the Grammy Awards? Right. Come yeah. on. I hear you, man. But unfortunately, uh, hey, my young brothers, I'm 26. I mean, I know I'm pretty young, but my young brothers, man, I, I see him talk. I'm like, come on, man, you got you got to stop watching the TV, man. You need to pick up a book or something. Yeah. The t TV's influence is way too strong in this nation. And I guess it's the parents, but like I said, man, you're opening up a can of worms, and I appreciate you even talking about this, Tom. You're the man. Thank you. Hey, could you take me out JFK Jr. style, please? Here you go, BJ. Such a tragedy. Tasteless. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Dietrich on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. What's up? Yeah, just the ratings, Dietrich. <laughs> well, that's always good, man. It is. Hey, it can't be done, Tom. It's like teaching a dog trying to talk. <laughs> it can't be done. You can't yeah, let's have a makeover want. show. Let's make over dogs and let's get them to talk. There's a makeover <laughs> show. That'd be better than what they're trying to do. <laughs> uh, but, but for real, though, you know, I work with a lot of white guys, and some of them, you know, I think is cool in their own way, but they're going to try to put the black stereotype in it, and that ain't cool. No. Because what they're going to try to do is turn, I hate a white wigger. You know what that a is? A wigger? Yeah. Would you, would you consider Eminem to be a wigger? Yeah. Uh, sure, we, he is. Yeah. I mean, he. I, it's kind of funny, you know, to watch Eminem talking like that. I yeah. Mean, yeah. He's good. On. He's good at what he does, and uh, I mean, he ain't no DMX, but he's good. But uh, what they're gonna try to do is try to make another wigger, and we don't need none of that. We just go to any mall in America. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm tired, Tom. Can you just blow me the hell up? Of course I will. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Shirley, on the Tom like it show. Hello. Tom, boyfriend, you know black people are cooler than white people. In general, that, that. in general, that's probably true. That's there we go. So maybe that's what the essence of the show is. But can to you convey that or impose that on white people? Well, you know, we won't use the word impose. We can say convey. It could possibly happen. Yeah. The bottom line is the brother is cool. I mean, look at you. The, the first okay. time I see a white guy in a mall walking around with gold teeth, for example, I'm going well, to fall wait. down laughing. I'm going to fall no, down I, I laughing. Agree with you. I agree with you, but let's think about this thing through. You're saying black things that are cool are cool black people. Cool black people can be anything. It doesn't have to be hip-hop. No, but you know what? Can, I love, can, I, can I tell you something? That's exactly what it will be on a stereotypical TV show. It could possibly be that time. You know. But let's think about it. You I mean, it's just like Queer Eye for the Straight Guy. Do you think every, do you think every, do you think every, let's look at Queer Eye for the Straight Guy, for example. Do you, I've known a lot of gay people. Do you, are they all well-dressed? Do they all know about wine and, 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 and how to de decorate their apartments? I know fat gay people who are complete slobs. Well, I don't know about the gay man. I know about the black man. The black man's beautiful. But all I'm all I'm telling you about though is that uh, you know, on Queer Eye for the Straight Guy, it's this stereotype of gay people that they're hip and they're wittier and hipper and they know how to decorate. When in reality, gay people are all kinds of people. So I'm telling you, don't expect a show like this to show the vast panorama of black folks because it's not going to do it. It's going to take the most obvious stereotypes. The obvious stereotypes. What is that? It's the one making the money. You're talking about Eminem. People may laugh, but he's laughing to the bank. Well, the he is. He's laughing to the bank. He okay? is. And he's a brilliant, brilliant performer and brilliant writer. Oh, I, no doubt about it. The guy's won an Oscar. He's won Grammy Awards. I mean, there's no doubt Tom, about it. But, Tom, let's be real. You know you got a Negro up your tree. Tom, <laughs> I mean, you are like the coolest <laughs> white man on the radio. Like, I think that's entirely possible. You know that they're going to be mimicking this show after your ancestors. And you can't handle it, Tom. You just can't handle it. I believe you. You know what? I think that's entirely possible. That's possible. My family's been all over the road over the years. I grew up in the South Bronx. Anything's possible. That's right. So, I mean, come on. There's going to be something about Tom in this show. There's going to be something about a cool man. Just admit it. If, they, if the show succeeds, you'll say, you know what? I was, she was right. There's a Negro in my tree. See that? You can just call me your Uncle Tom. Oh, come on, baby. <laughs> Take me out with a spanking, baby. Here it is, darling. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. He's our telephone number. Now I have to do my my salute to my uncle Ray. Who worked at the dead letter office. 
bringing me that National Geographic every month. My first pornography as a kid, and that's, that's what set me off on this path. I tell you what, I was looking at some of the Ubangi tribes, some of the tribes from Bali and whatever, and that's how I got to where I am today. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. That is our telephone number. Felicia on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Yes. What woman destroyed your sexual self-esteem? Oh, I don't have self-esteem at all, dear. No, I didn't think so, because you hate women. Oh, no, dear. I love women. Women are, women are the ultimate human no, toilet. Are you no, kidding me? No, no, no. Just listening to No better place to go for that. I know you hate women. And I think you probably have a... No, dear, I hate you, but I don't hate all women. Just you. Peanut penis is what it is. Really? Is that so? That's it. Now, you didn't complain when I was over there uh, 20 years ago. (laughs) I didn't even feel it. Oh. uh, I beg to differ. That's what... You remember me 20 years later and called in. You hate women. I was going for older women back then. You hate women. And you talk about Ooh. the turkey necks and the, and the lines. Oh, dear, you're beyond a turkey neck. You're more a pterodactyl God, neck. God, you look like you've been splayed out in the sun for a hundred well, years. Well, I'm glad you cared enough to look. You have wrinkles on your wrinkles. Really? Yeah. I don't think you're looking at the same person. <laughs> yes, you've got wrinkles galore. Oh, dear. Well, if only that were the case. It's too bad you hate women so much. Dear, again, let me reiterate. I don't hate women. I only, I only hate you. You do hate women. Okay. Because well, those women... Dear, do you have any other material, or are you going to repeat those uh, two or three words no, over and over? you come up... You with... don't. Okay, thank you. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Odell on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. How you doing, Tom? Okay, Odell. Good. I, um, I've only been listening to you about for six months or so, but uh, you impressed me a lot with your topics and your straightforwardness, which doesn't happen too often these days, and you tell young men the right things, or what they should watch out for because they don't need to get tied up as early as they do. But as far as your topic goes, um, the hardest person to be in the world to be is yourself. And when people try to be something other than what they are, then they do look comical at times. You know, everybody takes a little bit from each each different person, each culture or whatever, but yeah. by and large, you are who you are. And what's wrong with being who you are? You know what? You, there is hipness in, in everything if you know where to find it. And uh, you don't have to pretend to be some other race or some other ethnicity or from some other country or whatever. Uh, there are hip people of all colors and all ethnicities. Uh, uh, I, I, I find it really troubling when I see people who, like, hate themselves so much that they have to try to emulate somebody else. Well, that's true enough. That's true enough. There is coolness in every race. But be who you are. And, right. You know, it's all right to admire other people. I admire other people. There's something about everybody you can admire. And you take a little bit of this and you take a little bit of that to, to form. But, uh, but I don't have to be them. No, no, you can't be them. So there's, there's no, no sense in trying to be that. Exactly. Just be happy with who you are and take the best of what you can to make yourself better. No doubt about it. Odell, I'm out of time for this half hour. Thank you. Our toll-free telephone number for Across North America is 1-800-5800-TOM. The Tom Likas Show. This is the Tom Likas Show. Oh, yeah. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Yes. Showtime has bought a series called Make Me Cool. Where they're going to get four black folks... Three guys and a chick. And they're going to show hopelessly unhip white people how to be cool. I'm making this up. What do you think about that, Brian? Hey, Tom. How's it going? Long time listener. First time caller. Thank you. Hey, uh, what what would happen if you switched to, you know, switched it around to uh, maybe white people teaching black people how to be Oh, no, no, they see if they did that show, and let's just be honest, because, you know, I'm always honest about racial issues on this program. Yeah, of course. You know, the show they want to make, they would never make, which would be kind of like you'd get four white people teaching black people how to speak standard English, (laughs) right? Yeah. (laughs) I mean, you know what they would do. Yeah. The the same stereotypical kind of thing. 
Right. How to be on right. time. Right. What would they do? I mean, come on. <laughs> that's what I'm wondering, you know. That, and they would take every stereotype, and that's what they would do, because that's television. <laughs> Oh, we got to love it. Oh, we have uh, Leroy, who's on CP time, and the uh, cast is going to teach him how to be on time for that. <laughs> That's great. <Tom. laughs> oh, you know what? Take me out Phil Harmon style, would you? All right, Brian. Here right. you go. <laughs> 1-800-5800-TOM. It's Elliot on the Tom Likas show. Hey, Tom, what's happening? Not much, Elliot. Man, I, I can't believe it. Uh, what are they going to do? They're going to teach white people how to make red Kool-Aid? <laughs> They're going to have coffee cans on the stove with uh, mixed grease in it? <laughs> and you hit on a good point, Tom. What are they going to do? Uh, I, again, I... I be on time? I, I, that's the thing. Imagine if they reverse the roles. <laughs> uh, Cal, Calvin here... Uh, doesn't know how to use a proper infinitive, and we're going to teach him that today. <laughs> and, and, I, and I can't imagine teaching Arlene how to do the uh, the booty licious dance. That, uh, <laughs> does. Stop. Check me out, old school, baby. Here you go, Elliot. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom this is our telephone number. Qual Mel, you're on the Tom Like It Show. Hello. Um, professor. Yes, sir. I got I to tell you. Actually, I think the show might work. You just need to give it a few tweaks. Maybe give it a different name. Maybe something like Make Me Smooth for those guys who have no game. Yeah. Help the Poindexter. Help the dork. You got to help. And then you do it. Then you do it like it's 101. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah. But, yeah, just like the move around the black guys and, like, you know, take anybody. Take some Latino. Take some white guy. Yeah. Just add them, you know. To who knows better than black guys how to pick up chicks and not spend any money on them? Come Come on, they invented that. Exactly. But just give them somebody to bounce off against. Because, you know, for every idiot that wants to throw somebody in throw back, you got to have somebody on the other side saying Who perfected lying about what you do for a living, how much money you have? Are you kidding? Black guys invented that. Exactly. I just kind of picked up on it. You know what I'm saying? Just, I do. Uh, just help the dork, man. I mean, that would be the perfect show. Exactly. Hey, I talk. Can you take me out Jason Williams style? Jason Williams style? Just one single shotgun blast is all it takes. That's right. Here you go. 1-800-5800-TOM. <laughs> well, there goes another limo driver. Okay. Let's say hi. By the way, we're talking to uh, your, your basic black listener about this show, Make Me Cool, which will be on Showtime, where they take four black people, three men, one woman. It's like a panel, like the Fab Five on Queer Eye for the Straight Guy, and they're going to take on-hip white people and try to make them cool. I'm asking black folks what they think about that at 1-800-5800-TOM. It's John on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Yeah, yes, this is John. How are you, Father? I'm okay, sir. All right, I would just like to say that I'm an angry white person, and I'm angry because I think white people take more more bigot attitude from people than anybody else nowadays. How so? Uh, I see racial discrimination against me as people underestimating white people and uh, what they're capable of on the ways of being cool. Huh, you're in Moreno Valley. How large is the black population in Moreno Valley? Sir, it is very large. How large is it? I'd have to say you can't throw a rock without hitting one. I know you've tried. <laughs> Oh, yes, I have. Uh, I would like, uh, oh, very nice. Say, another thing I would like to say is that I'm not a prejudiced person. Oh, we heard enough. Oh, no, I know you're not. I just believe in that uh, we have, you know, we have a lot more to offer on, on the way of the cool side. And I don't, no I, doubt you're celebrating uh, White History Month. Well, they say that's every month, but I think that's bull crap. Yeah, all right. But uh, uh, can you take me out the bong rip, Tom? Uh, I guess I can. Here you go. <coughs> Andre, you're on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Yeah, Tom. I yeah. think it'll work. You think so? Yeah, because uh, Fresh Prince of Bel Air, he does it all the time with Carson. <laughs> so I think it'll work. <laughs> now, if you can get the Fresh Prince out the, there. The Fresh Prince reference. Now, that is a hardcore. Yeah, yeah. He's good at it, too. Yeah. And it's funny. <laughs> so you think it'll be a good show? Oh, yeah. If okay. if you get the right people to do it. If you get the right people to do it. Now, who who would be good people to uh, be on this panel? Anybody we know? Uh, if not the Fresh Prince, someone similar to, the, to him. Well, he's uh, making a lot more money doing movies right now. I don't think he's going to be doing any TV series anytime soon. Well, yeah. Well, like I said, it has to be similar to him. Yeah. Somebody like him. Yeah. Is there anybody like him out there? 
Of course. I mean, where do you think he came from? The hood. Oh, okay. So you're saying an unknown person. Yes. All right. Great. Andre, thank you. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Quit it. The Tom Likas Show. The Tom Likas Show. 1-800-5800-TOM. Here's our telephone number. It's John on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, what's up, Tom? Not much, John. Hey, Tom. I'm what you call a typical white wigger. Really? Yeah. How, and, um, how so? So I'm the finished product of that show. You are? That, well, that's what they, they aim for. I'm cool. I'm white. Look at that. And so, uh, uh, you know, and, but it, don't, it ain't all about that neither because there's some cool white people beforehand. There was Elvis Presley. There was James Dean, Steve McQueen. They cool. Mm-hmm. Would you consider them cool? Well, I I guess they got girls. Yeah, well, they they did. So uh, um, I don't know why all these white people calling up telling me most of these white people. Any man up. named McQueen, if he's uh, straight, uh, he deserves to get chicks. Who, Steve McQueen? Yeah, he's straight, ain't he? Well, that's what I'm saying. If you have a name like that and you uh, oh, you live through all yeah. the insults and stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Uh, but seriously though, and like Eminem, what's wrong with Eminem? N- nothing. I'm just he saying. Everyone's of his game. I, well, I thought you was dissing him. Ah, well, it's not so much. I'm dissing him. He's very successful, uh, and deservedly so. He creates very good art. But you got to admit, when you see a white guy talking like that, a white guy who, you know, the, well, I know it kind of he was not weird. raised by black parents or anything. It's it, it, it's like an affectation. It's not real. Well, see, I think I, someone like me would be good for that show too. You know, because yeah. I, ain't, you know, I ain't fake like the vanilla ice. You see his butt on the surreal world talking crap, man. He ain't nothing. Uh-huh. Be a joke. Wow. But seriously, though, I think they need to well, have... So what do black people think of you when they meet you and hear you talking like this? I don't care what them niggas think. You know, this is my world. This is this where I live. You know, half my friends are white and half of them are black. And most of the white guys talk just like me. And if there's a black guy stand up to me, they better come up with it. They better come up and be a man and say it to my friend. Well, I'll tell you what. We have a, actually a, a black woman who wants to talk to you. Uh, Nikki, what did you want to say here to John? What's I mean, up, I just want to say you're kind of you're proving Tom's point, man. What'd you say? You man? are proving t- Tom's point because I swear to God, there is several million people Girl, that are dying, you know, you laughing right me. now. You this would, is you would get with me, man. I had that jungle fever before, girl. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh, my God. It sounds like an act. It sounds like a comedy routine. It just does not sound real. What you talking about? It does about? not sound genuine. This, you are on drugs or something. This sounds this, this this is me. This is who I am. This I'm is who I am. No, you don't understand. Up. This is who the hell I am. I have a white girlfriend. <laughs> you know, what you laughing at? <laughs> Ain't nobody no damn joke. Tom, man, you can't believe you're dissing a brother like this. Who you are? Me? Like a damn robot. You shouldn't have to tell people constantly, this is really me, this is who I am. People should be able to see that naturally. Yeah, that's what they should see. They don't, they got an ass with them coming. No, they shouldn't need an ass with them. They should need you being real. Girl, you know what, my woman real disrespect speaks me like through. that. Would, girl, it speaks don't, clearly. Hey, nobody girl, don't take to that. Tell, nobody would have Tom, to you ask can't talk you, to this thing. You John, you, John you, sound, you, you sound blacker than Nikki, for God's sake. Yeah, but she's Tom, black. Look at her dissing me like that, man. This is a man show. She shouldn't even be up here coming up on my face like that now. Because she ain't here so I can slap her. And, it, you know, it ain't fair. Okay, <laughs> clearly. Nikki, would you like to see a show where we turn white people into guys like John? Hey, man. <laughs> that ain't cool. <laughs> oh, please. That cool. That was wrong. <laughs> That's just wrong, Tom. <laughs> There ain't nothing wrong with me. My girlfriend Susan loves me to death. She likes the way I be. Ooh, and all my children. How do you treat your bitch there, John? She like a bitch. You treat a bitch like a bitch. See, and the other thing he needs to know is this is not sounding black. This is sounding ignorant. There's a difference. Shut your ass up, girl. I don't There's even... a difference. Hey, you know what? You know what? I bet you like white guys too, don't you? <laughs> See, they done transform your butt with a Jedi mind trick and a cookie. <laughs> That's all that's wrong with you. You talk more white than, than President Bush. <laughs> no, it's because I have an education. Because you had an education? You saying I'm stupid? <laughs> I'm saying you sound ignorant. Ignorant? So I ignorant. ignorant. 
spell I ain't ignorant. Ig there's an R in the word, ignorant. <laughs> hey, you know what? And there's an R in ass whipping. Well, no, they ain't. No, they <laughs> <laughs> Man, y'all need to go on and leave a brother alone. I'm oh, help him, please. Help is him. there is there an R in Wigga? Yeah, well I don't know, is there? <laughs> oh God. Yo, they dissing me in here, Susan. I'm finna go this off is on. This is sad. Mm -mm. This is sad. Yo, y'all be sad. I'll show you my <laughs> see who's sad. Wait, that didn't come out right neither. Damn, I gotta go, Tom. All right, uh, John, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom is our telephone number. Derek on the Tom Likas show. Hello. What's going on, Tom? <laughs> Not... uh, long time listener, first time caller. Thank you. You know, I I, I I just tuned in and the first thing I heard was the word ignorant. Ignorant. <laughs> okay, and I I'm a I'm a young... He is not ignorant. Remember that. Okay, I I'm a young black man. I hope he's on. I hope he's listening. And he's making all of us sound really, really, really bad. Really bad. And, you know, all it takes is one bad apple to spoil it for the bun. Oh, but that, not in this case, because this guy, I, you must have tuned in a little, this guy's white. He's white? Yes. Okay, okay, you know what, that's even worse. And I'll tell you why, Tom, because he's obviously trying to sound like what he thinks is black. Okay? And it makes it sound worse because this is what some white people think of black when he people. called up he referred to himself as a wigger okay and that, that that that's horrible that's horrible it really really is because we are not like that we're not like that you know i'm i'm pull, i'm pulling up to my six hundred thousand dollar home now i'm getting out of my vet you know we're not we're not like that we're we really are not now some of us are you got you know if i could say this on your show you got your niggers you got your uh you have your respectable black people you have your, uh, if you don't mind me saying, trailer, white trash, I guess, and you have your respectable white people. Every type of person, every type of ethnicity, each race has its, you know, uh, somewhat of an ignorant class, and then you know, a middle class and a higher class. Uh -huh. You know, he, he's getting on here, and this is this is his perception of of uh, black people or what a black person is like that he's trying to imitate. And you know, I think I think it's really a shame. So whether he's black or white, he's still making us look bad. Well, now yeah, since you tuned in in the middle, you may not know this, but this all started with a TV show, okay, kind of modeled after Queer Eye with a Straight Guy, where they're going to get four black people who are going to teach white people how to be cool. The show's going to be called Make Me Cool. You know what? <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you what cool is, Tom. This is just this is just my opinion. Attitude is what makes cool. It's not imitating something else. It's not following somebody else's directions. You understand what I'm saying? I think you're right. And following your own direction and not having four people make you over on some stupid TV show. That's right. That's right. Because the type of people who think they are cool might not be the type of people that you want to think you are cool. That's right. I mean, if you have to go on TV and have some gay guy teach you how to, how to wrap the Chilean sea bass in, in palm leaves... And, and heated at 350 degrees, and, and then you think you're like the ultimate in hipness. you got to be kidding me. Yeah, they, they need to get their own life, Tom. Well, they not, really do. You are not kidding about that. Tom like it. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. You have a vagina? Yes. And you're telling me you have a hard time finding somebody to fill it? No, 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 no. Not at all. I mean, I'll tell you what, I'll have sex with you tonight. Did you want to talk to my boyfriend? I don't want to talk to him for. I'm negotiating with you right now. The Tom Likas Show. Tom Likas Show. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. That's your telephone number. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of the program. 1-800-5800-TOM. Let's continue here with Tina on the Tom Likas Show. Hi, Tom. Hi, Tina. How are you? Do you care, dear? I do care. I'm doing I great. I do. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I don't understand why that guy had to call and make himself look even stupider than you know, stupider than he is walking around down the street, dressed like he is, talking like he is. All he did is make himself look even more ignorant, and out of everything in the whole world to want to be, he wants to be a nigger. What's up with that? Uh, that's a very good question. <laughs> I mean, he probably had a good chance being a white boy growing up here in California. What the hell? <laughs> he had everything going for him, almost. Hang on a second. Cotton. 
What do you want to say to Tina here? Hey, Tina, number one, uh, you want to be like us. We don't want to be I, like you. Oh, hell no, I don't want to be a nigger. Hell hey. no, I'm brown and proud. I'm brown and, and, and proud. And you know what? See, I'm not going to get into the debate like that with you because okay. you should be proud of who you are. That's but right. They're not, you. Make, they're not making a so show you. about You should pull Tina. up your pants and walk right and act right. You're talking right to the wrong guy, Tina. Right. Tina, you're talking to the wrong guy. I own two homes. I, I, you're talking to the wrong person. You're not talking to the stereotype that you created. No, okay? I'm talking, I'm you're not talking, talking to, you, to the stereotype. The way you're talking, the way you're, talking, you're, not the way you're talking acting to, like a fool. Hey, I just told you you should be proud of who you are. So I'm very proud like of who I am. And that's good. Okay, number one, here's, here's the whole thing in a nutshell. They're making a show about white people to be like black people, not the opposite. Number two, what we do and who we are is not an act. Okay? Okay. So it be proud like of who you are. Because you're obviously not proud of who you are. You don't act like yourself. You're, act, you're, you're wanting to be something else you're not. Oh, boy. All right, Tina and Cotton, we're out of time for this hour. Our email address is my name. It's Tom at blowmeuptom.com. The Tom Likas Show.